And good morning, everybody, and welcome to to the Lashem Daily Briefing for Friday, 20th December, 2024. So the synoptic situation then, this is as of midnight last night, that high pressure is still over um, northern Europe, uh, and it's uh, keeping at these low pressures uh, uh, at bay, uh, leaving us in a fairly brisk uh, east northeast airflow. If I run this forward through to midday today, though, you'll spy a trough line it goes pretty well straight through the centre of the country. This trough is going to have some thunderstorms on it, uh, maybe even a bit of hail. So it will be an issue sometime uh, in the middle of the day. And if I run this through to, so this is for Saturday, you see we've got uh, trough lines uh, all over, all over the central part of England and Sunday is not much better um, so I think we're going to go into a period of sherry uh, sort of weather over the next few days. A spot wind is indicating um, about 070 2025 knots and if I run the cloud radar you can see that trough line I was referring to is now which is just over Kent and that's going to be wiggling its way uh, towards us as the morning goes through. Uh, rain. Uh, so there's the rain actually associated to that trough line. Very, very heavy. No, it's quite dark purple almost in the middle. So that is going to be heavy. And if you look at the track of that, it's going to take us straight over last year. I don't think we're going to miss it today. And if I just run through the net forecast predicted uh, rain for the day, uh, we can see that uh, that's going to get a lot closer. Um, oops, I've gone yeah, a lot closer. And it's going to hit us around about uh, there, around about midday, there, thereabouts. OK, local forecast is indicating a bit of rain uh, by 11 o'clock. I think that's probably a little bit early, but it might be 11, 12 o'clock there, thereabouts. And then nice and clear with some possible thunder uh, showers later. Uh, the wind is pretty well northeasterly, 10, steady 10 knots uh, all throughout the day. Max temperature about 21, feeling more like 18 because of the wind. Uh, GFS is giving max temperature today, 23, with a dew point down at 10. Uh, view outside the window at the moment, uh, this lower cloud. It's, it, it's been the same for the last two or three days. That's going to slowly increase as the morning goes on. And um, current temperatures are indicating 14.7 with a dew point down at 12. Uh, but they're very, very reluctant to raise at the moment, if you look at that graph. But uh, pretty slow uh, rates probably because of all this overcast okay uh odium uh currently got nine knots in the northwest uh visibility nine thousand meters and mist and farnborough is indicating could refresh uh eight knots from the northeast uh broken clouds at 1300 broken clouds at 2300 and if we run through the taf uh it's indicating rain showers from about 11 o'clock uh, till about four o'clock even rain showers with a possibility uh, between 10, 11 and four thunderstorms heavy rain possible hail or snow pellets is saying top meteo has got a very very uh, small area we may be able to get something out of the day and if i run through the thermal strength so this is as at uh, 10 o'clock this morning uh, i've got a few thermals around about uh, 2,900, 2,800 there, thereabouts by 11 o'clock. But you can see this green trough line is already uh, starting to approach on us. So, uh, and if I run this through, uh, there's large thunderstorms all in the south of the country. We may be okay here after the trough line has gone through. We may be okay. It's indicating thermals about three and a half thousand feet, uh, but then it's going to die off pretty quickly. Uh, as the as the day goes on, and sky sites very similar, similar sort of uh, area that can be used. Uh, for for cross country flight today, and also with the cloud. So we've got this is the low cloud we've got at the moment about a thousand foot. It's going to rise fairly quickly, uh, and um, it's indicating possible thermals about four thousand feet. Actually, uh, I think we'll be lucky to get that. There's no real uh, indication of the trough on on sky site, funnily enough, but it's definitely there and it's definitely coming. And winds around about uh, 06, 06, 07, 0, 13 knots there, thereabouts. And no tams then, so no, local no tams. We've got the usual Barton Stacey 22, 23 is the usual. Uh, actually, this is the flare firing at Rushmore, but that's not going to be till nine o'clock this evening. 26 is Ash Ranges. Um, 
Danger A132 is activated to 850 feet. 27 is the Uphaven telephone number. A 28 flares by parachute. Uh, that's in this evening again. That's going to be at 7 o'clock this evening. Uh, 29 is a route for UAVs only. And 37 and 38 are usual. Oxmoor and uh, Western on the Green Danger areas. So if I run through the cross section initially, you can see there uh, the delights we've got. The warnings there, thunderstorms and strong winds. I think the winds will only be increased significantly when when and if we do get thunderstorms going through. So we just need to be uh, aware, of, aware of that. And obviously this towering cumulus for the rest of the afternoon. But the bases could get up as high as you know, three, three and a half, four thousand foot, maybe later on. OK, um, there should have been already a Beach 200 departed. It should have gone at 8.15 this morning. And there is an arrival at 9.52. These are only small aircraft. Uh, low cloud base, slowly raging throughout the morning. Showers expected early afternoon as a trough goes through. And there may be some hail with it. So think about the gliders that are out. Uh, winds northeastly all day. Expect gusts as a trough goes through. And set up on 09, I believe, may have to move on to 05 if the crosswind is too much. Uh, Merv is running the field today uh, again, so I shall leave it at his uh, discretion. He knows more about it. He's actually on the, uh, you know, on the ground and he can see what the best, best run to use. Um, possible weak thermos this afternoon. OK, there's 5K 21s and 3K 13s available. No gliders are on the instructional booking system today. So obviously we haven't had the instructors put their names go forward for that. Uh, four is booked by Piers uh, this all day. Uh, 1K21 is with Mike Birch. Uh, 1K21 has been booked all day by Hermione. Uh, K13 or K21 on trial flights. I'm not quite sure which one, uh, who's going to be doing the trial flights. And uh, some, some, some have the preference for 13, some for a K21. Uh, most single seats are available. Uh, any remaining K21s or K13s available for the casual lift is needed. Uh, and there's a view of the list. You see lots of blue lines basically indicates availability. OK, and the runway setup as normal. Launch points on grass south, air toes on grass north, unless you need to go on to runway 05. And I think there was a little bit of operation there yesterday. Um, 2XL were concerned about the proximity of gliders and their car park on the left hand side. But I explained this is perfectly normal and uh, Funnily enough, there's people in the cockpits and the gliders are relatively under control. OK, I shall leave you all in the safe, capable hands of Merv. Thank you, Merv, for standing in uh, yesterday and today. Unfortunately, uh, I've got a second funeral today, two in a row, um, and Ron's got a little bit of leave due him. So I shall see you all tomorrow. If Bye. <laughs>